2,000 year old mummy with perfect skin to a 20,000 year old pyramid. Here are 10 unusual archaeological finds. This is Throwback Thursdays. Number 10. Ancient Animal Traps A 5,000-year-old animal trap was found in the Negev Desert of Israel. Archaeologists originally thought the traps were only a few hundred years old because near-identical devices were used by local Bedouins in the last century. To the casual eye, the traps looked like a pile of stones, not unlike a can, but they were used to catch carnivores, likely by the people occupying the area who kept herds of sheep or goats. The trap worked by a piece of meat being attached to a rope to entice a predator, like a leopard, into a stony box, which measured about 60 centimeters high. Once the animal entered the deliberate opening, the heavy door would shut, trapping the animal within. In addition to leopards, the traps were thought to entice hyenas, wolves, and other predators existing in the Middle East at that time. Number 9. The Voynich Manuscript. This was originally a 250-page book that was written in a language no one could read. It was discovered in 1912 by a seller of antique books named Wilfred Voynich and is named after him. The vellum upon which the tome is written has been radiocarbon dated to the early 15th century. Most of the pages have diagrams or images that include depictions of medicinal herbs or zodiac symbols. The manuscript has been studied many times over the years by cryptographers and codebreakers, and no one has completely deciphered the mysterious language. Although Stephen Bax, a British linguistics expert, claims to have deciphered 14 of the manuscript's characters, and from that effort he deduces the manuscript may be a discourse on nature, possibly written in an Asian or Near Eastern language. Number 8. Strange Sunken Stone In 2013, a massive stone object was located at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. The cone-shaped structure weighs some 60,000 tons. That's heavier than some modern-day warships. Made of cobbles of basalt and boulders and stretching to one meter long, the structure measures almost 10 meters high and 73 meters wide. Archaeologists are baffled as to the object's purpose. Now, it's been located over 20 meters below the surface and ex experts are led to believe it was originally made on land, then was submerged over time as sea levels rose. Because the massive object is made from rocks stacked atop one another, it's thought the can might have been designed as a type of grave marker. Researchers think it might be an early artifact from the Bronze Age, dating back around 4,000 years. Number 7. Copper Scroll An ancient copper scroll was discovered in 1952 at Qumran, an archaeological site on the West Bank. It's thought to date back around 2,000 years and is actually one of the Dead Sea Scrolls. But this one differs in that it's not written on papyrus or parchment. This scroll is made of copper and does not contain a literary work. Inscribed are various locations, which might indicate where massive amounts of gold and silver might be hidden or buried. Researchers think the scroll might have been hidden by locals to keep it out of the hands of the Romans during the region's frequent rebellions against the empire. It's on display at the Jordan Museum in Amman. Number 6. Lost City Found Archaeologists recently found a city that was lost in Greece over 2,500 years ago. The previously undiscovered city was located among the ruins of Vlakos, a small village north of Athens. The city was initially thought to have belonged to an isolated settlement located on a hill nearby. But as experts conducted in-depth investigations around the hill, they found indications of a large city, including street grids and a town square. Remains of the walls, towers, and city gates were located there, and pottery and coins found in the area have been dated to 500 BC. Interestingly, much of the find isn't apparent from ground level, but fortress walls and other ruins can easily be discerned from the air. That could explain why the city was undiscovered for so long. Number 5. Hand in Hand A unique find was made at Lake Baikal in Siberia in 2016. It was a grave dating to the Bronze Age and contained the skeleton of a man and a woman holding hands for the past 5,000 years. The man's skeleton was complete, but rodents destroyed the upper portion of the female. Archaeologists noted that the skeletons were adorned with rings made of rare white jade. One such ring was placed over the eye socket of the man, and three rings made of jade were placed on his chest. A jade dagger was also found in the grave with them. The man was thought to be a dignitary. 
while the woman is believed to have been his wife or concubine. Experts think the couple belonged to the Bronze Age Glaskov culture. They lived around Lake Baikal, which is known as the world's oldest and deepest lake. The area in which the couple was discovered was considered sacred by the ancient people. Number 4. The Swedish Atlantis? Has Atlantis finally been discovered? A recent find had us wondering. Researchers have discovered the submerged remains of a Stone Age lagoon community off the coast of Sweden, thought to be some 9,000 years old. It's believed that the lagoon environment sank as sea levels rose over the centuries. An ancient pickaxe carved from deer antlers, along with several fish traps made from braided hazel rods, were among the items discovered. The relics were found some 20 meters below the surface of the Hano Bay in the Baltic Sea. To get a better idea of the area's history, geologists drilled into the seabed and radiocarbon dated the core. They also produced bathymetric maps to illustrate depth variations. Experts say that 9,000 years ago, the lagoon environment was likely surrounded by a pine forest, and Mesolithic humans lived there for parts of the year. Number 3. Mummy Dearest Did you know the world's best preserved mummy is in China? The body of Xin Zhu is around 2100 years old. She was known as the Lady of Dai and lived during the Han Dynasty. Her body still has soft skin, all of her own hair and eyelashes, and her limbs can still bend. Scientists also noted that all of her internal organs remained intact. Her preservation is even more impressive considering experts believe she was suffering from clogged arteries, high blood pressure, diabetes, and had heart disease. Researchers think she died from that condition at the approximate age of 50. Workers found a tomb inside a hillside as they were attempting to locate an air raid shelter. Her body was found swaddled in over 20 layers of silk, then sealed within four coffins filled with charcoal, which were then sealed with clay, which made it so watertight that bacteria could not enter. Number two. 20,000-year-old pyramid. Could the world's oldest pyramid be located in Indonesia? A geologist says that a location in West Java is revered because it contains an ancient pyramid, which could be 20,000 years old. The location is Ganong Padang, a megalithic site discovered in 1914. The site is said to be the largest of its kind in Southeast Asia and is located south of Jakarta. The hillside exhibits chunks of volcanic rubble that indigenous people consider sacred. The geologist, Dr. Danny Hillman, says says the hillside actually covers a pyramid that may have been built for astronomical purposes or for worship. He claims that ground-penetrating radar has detected man-made structures around 15 meters underground. Rock found some 4 meters underground has been dated up to 12,500 years old. Although many experts are skeptical about Dr. Hillman's theory, research is ongoing. Number 1 Another Stonehenge. Did you know a Neolithic complex was discovered about one and a half miles from Stonehenge? And this newly discovered complex is thought to have been built more than 5,600 years ago. It's located in a village called Lark Hill in Wiltshire and consists of around 3,000 feet of ditches with a diameter measuring 656 feet. It's considered the first major early Neolithic site discovered in the Stonehenge area in over a century. Archaeologists have recovered items including human remains, arrowheads, broken pottery, and cattle bones. So far, about 300 feet of the ditches have been excavated. Findings thus far indicate the complex was a sacred area for rituals, in addition to being a burial ground. Researchers hope these new findings will help shed light on why and how Stonehenge was built. This is Throwback Thursdays.